Film to tape transfer is an important process at VTA and our clients demand the highest quality and D2 was the obvious answer. Clients are famous for changing their mind. With a D2 format, we can go down several generations for those changes and not be penalized in technical quality. Revisions are a fact of life in post-production. The D2 format has really helped us solve those problems and it's been a real service to our clients. The D2 format, and particularly the VPR 300, offers us great flexibility as well as high quality. And that's what our customers are demanding today. This videotape editing bay represents the latest in television technology. But even more than technology, this room is really about creativity. Clients come into an edit bay with scripts and storyboards filled with fantastic ideas. But often when trying to get those ideas onto tape, something is lost in the process. The limitations of the post-production process itself can get in the way. But now, there's an answer. It's called D2, the composite digital format invented by Ampex. D2 videotape recorders like this VPR 300 actually enhance the creative process by removing many of the limitations of analog recording. D2 means superb digital video, four channels of better than CD audio, and transparent layering with negligible generation loss. And you don't have to be a technical wizard to put these benefits to work in your programs. D2 is completely compatible. You record and edit with D2 VTRs exactly as you would with any analog VTR. Only D2 is better. Now, how much better? Well, to find out, we've talked with some of the industry's top professionals now using D2. Our first stop was Videotape Associates in Atlanta, where D2's signal quality and easy storage are perfect for critical film-to-tape transfers and archiving. When we decided to go with a digital format, uh, film to tape transfer seemed to be the logical place to start that process since most of the material that comes into our post house comes in uh, in film format and uh, that's where we needed to gain the maximum quality. We were transferring a miniseries for Turner Broadcasting uh, about a year ago and one day as an experiment I transferred an episode to D2 and sent a three-quarter inch tape. That's all the client really gets. And the client immediately called me on the phone and said, you cheated, you did this to digital, I can tell the difference. Even looking at a three-quarter inch tape, the client could tell the quality was much higher than the standard one-inch format. Our clients and our colorists trust the image that they see on the screen more so than they did with one inch. The clients immediately are aware that the transfer is D2. It's very transparent to the original film transfer. For archival purposes, the format is ideal. The cassette format takes up less shelf space. You can pack more material for the amount of shelf space required. So for archival purposes, for storage purposes, D2 is a good format. We have Sony DVR-10s and Ampex vpr 3s and our transfer colorists prefer the VPR-300 because of its speed and because of its clarity and because of its faster lock, faster shuttle, and it has a more transparent image than the Sonys do. Our clients won't compromise on quality, and that's why we use the Ampex D2s. In post-production, the D2 advantage is making all the difference in quality and creativity. Video Park in Baton Rouge, Louisiana and Compact Video in Los Angeles are using the transparent layering capabilities of the VPR 300 to give their clients a great look at a lower cost. D2 is an excellent application for clients who don't know what they want. And what I mean by that is, during the production of this commercial, we had a lot of individual elements that we wanted to put together in some interesting way. We didn't know the order. We didn't know how many layers we were going to go. Therefore, it was difficult to determine which tape the final composite was going to end up on. So with D2, we were able to position everything on one tape, make a digital dub of that tape to create our B-roll, and then we were free to dissolve and edit and insert anything we wanted in any order without losing any quality. With the VPR 300s, we're not concerned anymore with generation loss. Uh, if we need to go down another generation or two, that's fine. It does not hurt the picture quality. Therefore, that enables us to be more creative in our approach to a project. We can try certain things. We can play with certain approaches until we find the one that works the best. Recently, we completed a spot for George Kennedy Productions for a local newspaper in town. The first time George saw the D2 machines in shuttle, 
He was most impressed with the noise effect at high-speed shuttle, the, the pixelization. He wanted to have a very frenzied, fast-paced look and found that the pixelization from the BPR 300s added to that frenzy. He was able to use an effect that most people will never see at home in his commercial. Well, we had a, um, a situation where the digital disc recorder was not available for a client who did need to do heavy layer effects. Uh, the D2 was available. We lashed up two together, ping pong between the two D2s, doing our multiple layers. And the thing that I discovered that I never realized before, in a digital disc recorder, you have to, just by limited disc area, keep blowing away your previously built layers. Because of the D2 tape, we were able to go back into the middle layers, change a name that had been misspelled, layer it back in, and it was all there and rescued probably five to ten hours of online editing that saved him a fortune and made him look good at the same time. You can use the D2s, the Ampex D2s, upwards of 20 to 25 generations down, in my experience, before any noticeable generation loss. And this, of course, is what is not available on the Sony, where I was using those to ping pong and they started to fall apart after five or six. Changes in the edited master are a fact of life in our business, but D2 is making these after the fact changes much easier. Because there's practically no generation loss, you can roll the original master as a source tape for the new master and not lose any quality. And with four digital audio channels, the entire mix down and audio sweetening process can be done right on the master. These D2 capabilities have proven especially useful to two large post-production companies, HBO Studio Productions in New York City and Northwest Teleproductions in Minneapolis. Well, we had a client come to us that uh, was Sports Illustrated, actually. And the client had a requirement that's not unusual in today's productions. They shot the piece on Betacam, and they had stereo audio of the people exercising. They were actually exercising to a click track, so later on in post audio, we would be adding the music, stereo, as well as some sound effects. With D2, with its ability with four tracks of audio, we were able to put the stereo music on three and four while keeping the stereo pair of SOT on the original master. Uh, once we got this up into post audio, we basically rolled off the four tracks to a 24 track and was able to add the other sounds and throw it back. One of the other unique features is it gave us the ability to later be able to market this in other languages because once we mixed the stereo together, we had two open tracks and we put mix minus an ounce on four, which left three open for interpretation later on. As is typical in uh, a lot of the post-production work we do, uh, you find that you have to go back sometime after the original uh, a master has been completed to do a revise and uh, in the past it was always a uh, tricky proposition to try to get a perfect match frame and uh, we found with the D2 format that it's quite easy to uh, match into the original master and complete the revise in, in a matter of minutes. We recently did a fairly basic spot for a client and uh, as usually happens we had to come back several days later to do a revise on this very same spot. The spot was uh, mastered on the D2 format and it was a very simple process to go back in and do a matched frame edit on this spot to uh, complete the revise. Just a matter of changing uh, the logo at the end of the spot. Uh, in a one inch format we usually would go down a generation rather than edit into the original master. So the uh, D2 has served us in many ways because of uh, this capability. The D2 format is something that Northwest has dedicated its acquisition and post-production abilities to, and it's something that has been well accepted in this market. It's been quite apparent to our clients the quality that's been retained all the way through the post-production process. Consider the advantages of multi-generation signal transparency Four channels of audio exceeding CD specs, superior on-air playback and film-to-tape transfers, and the ease of handling and speed of a cassette-based format. It's easy to see why D2 is the new format of choice. Don't compromise your creativity. Get the D2 advantage.